di cuti perayaan daripada 1 ke 8 Mei. So it will be postponed to week 6 which is scheduled to be on 9 May to 13 May. Right? So there will be a midterm test yang akan dibuat common for all the, 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 the all the students that takes this SP640. Okay, uh, okay, 640. Uh, and then they have uh, uh, yang akan kita ambil bersekali. As what maybe you all tahu daripada ISP 640 ni, uh, IT Project Management, they are chapter, they are people, uh, they are student from uh, part 6 taking the course, student part, from part 5 also taking the course, and student uh, from part 4, which is uh, from uh, CS240 programs. Program ni banyak program ambil, 259, 264, 240, and also uh, 266. So, student dalam 200 pelajar, lebih kurang dan mode pun ada yang uh, you all physical of course, kita panggil balik ke sini kan. Dan, dan juga di rumah, that's why kita akan samakan for the midterm test, we will do the secara online. Okay, tapi of course, we will, uh, we will remind you about the integrity, you cannot uh, discuss with your ni, tapi it is an open book, you can refer to the uh, textbook or slide that been uh, given to you right uh, before okay so for the this one next week to saya dah tanya group lain they are available on the 13 may right they are available on 13 may uh, uh, so far so far group yang uh, 13 may hari jumaat okay scheduled to be on 2:45 2 jam lah okay 2 jam 2:45 until 4.45. So, kalau grup CS2596 uh, A ni, saya panggil seorang yang wakil je, uh, ada kelas tak? Amirul Hafiz. Do you have class during this time? Hmm? Hmm. Uh, okay, so saya book eh, masa you all eh, kalau ada lecturer nak buat midterm test ke, awak kata dah ada midterm test lain. Ya? Yeah? Alright, sebab week 6 tu memang musim-musim uh, midterm lah sebenarnya saya rasa. Week 6, week, week 7 and so on. Okay, so for the CS2596B, saya panggil dia seorang wakil Muhammad Hafiz Nasaruddin. Do you have class during that time? Jumaat 13 May. Jumaat pukul apa? Ah, uh, 245. 245, 245 Jumaat tak ada. Tak ada eh? Okay. So Hafiz uh, bagi tahu uh, all uh, students, kawan-kawan uh, kita ada kita ada uh, uh, meet term test nanti pada waktu ni eh. 13 Mei, Jumaat. Okay. Uh, bila saya dah confirmkan semua four groups, uh, kami punya four groups ni. So I boleh tulis lah kalau tidak uh, as 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 we uh, uh, as of yesterday to be confirmed so we will do it 245 until 445 okay right okay but the midterm test only takes about 90 minutes meaning that one and a half hours so for the 50 minutes actually you've been given 245 until 3 there will be a briefing session Okay, there will be a briefing session and uh, which uh, uh, will be handled by your lecturer uh, for the tutorial lecture, right? Uh, and 2.45 itulah you nak download uh, soalan dan sebagainya. Uh, biasanya kita akan bagi the whole set and then you will download and then you will do the, the whole thing uh, on your own. Lepas tu upload balik. So, 2.45 until 3 for the briefing and for do to do download and so on. From 3, 3 to, 3 to, 3 to, 3 to, 3 to 4, 4 to 5. Okay. 3 to, uh, 3 to 4.45, uh, bukan bukan, 3 to 3.30, 3 to 3.30, uh, there will be the test itself. And then, lagi, lagi, lagi 15 minit, uh, okay, 3.30 to 3, uh, uh, 4.40, 
to 445 they will be uh, for you to give uh, to upload balik all right so all the detail will be given later uh, to you uh, about the timing dan sebagainya lah uh, nanti ini saya bagi tahu dulu for your early uh, to aware you about the midterm test okay basically the midterm test will be covered from chapter 1 until chapter 5 right and there will be about uh, 10 multiple choice question and also two subjective questions okay that's about the midterm test so uh, kita akan buat yang ini right and then semester uh, of course semester break selamat hari raya kepada semua maaf zahir batin enjoy your holiday uh, uh, balik uh, jaga diri dan minggu depan tu kita akan balik kepada chapter 6 right even though you have a test on that week I will still cover chapter 6 eh. Uh, Maknanya kelas saya kena datang juga as usual. Alright. Cuma kelas tutorial saja akan diguna pakai. Kita akan kelas tutorial you are not going to have your class tutorial class which akan akan dibawa ke hari Jumaat itu. Alright. Any question related to this? <coughs> okay as usual no questions. Alright, so make sure I start. Uh, boleh I share balik? Saya lupa nak 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 uh, dah record dah dia automatic record. Okay, so I share uh, the slide itself on chapter five. <coughs> okay, saya di meeting banyak pada pagi. Saya bagi briefing dan sebagainya. So suara dah. Batuk-batuk lah semua. Alright, puasa dan sebagainya ni. So, uh, saya tak nak, tak sempat lah nak bertanya what you uh, uh, question on chapter 4. Semalam, I did ask the students what uh, what they learn and I ask question about chapter 4 for your group ni. Ada exceptional sikit. Saya bawa ke minggu lagi satu tu. Saya banyak tanya dekat you all eh. Alright, so for the chapter 5 for this week, <coughs> there will be project planning, scope and the work breakdown structure. All right. Okay. Di mana for this? Okay, if last week we learned about the project infrastructure, you learn how to govern the project, how the project will be managed and also how the, uh, about the, uh, 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 the, 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 the timing and also the schedule, a little bit on the schedule also about the chapter uh, chapter four. But for this week, we will learn in detail how everything, the scope, schedule and budget. Okay, this is very important. This is what we call uh, a triple constraint. Okay, macam saya cakap, scope project memang very, uh, very critical. You need to understand everybody in the team should understand, should know what being expected from the project, right? And if you have a clear picture on what to be expected and then based on that scope, the task that you need to cover, the output that you need to, uh, uh, to provide and so on. So it need to lean with the schedule, okay? So, and also the budget, berapa banyak uh, resources, okay, schedule, also the budget, the resources, the money, the, the, the people, and also the equipment, whatever resources that you need, it got to be aligned dengan scope, dengan schedule. Uh, kalau scope banyak, schedule pun kena lebih, budget pun kena lebih. Alright, uh, that is how it works. So how to know how banyak it banyak, uh, it, is, it, it will be based on the on the uh, on the, the project manager and also the team in the evaluation. Right? Okay, any questions so far? Said, uh, do you have any questions, Said? Muhammad Said bin Nazida. Are you there, Said? Ada ke? Dah join ke Said? Uh, ada, ada doktor. Ah, okay. Oh, ya, yeah, okay. Dengar dengan Said. Awak oh, kat mana Said? Dekat uh, college. Ah, alright. Sebelum ni tak ada, ada kelas kan? Tapi online kan? Kelas you all kan? Ah, online. <coughs> okay. Alright, thank you. Tak ada soalan eh. Okay.
understand the process and apply several tools for defining and managing the scope of a project. OK, so in order to fulfill whatever scope that we want to cover, ataupun nak, 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 nak produce a certain uh, information system, the, the, the system itself, OK, of course, they need uh, several tools in terms of the technology. But in terms of managing and monitoring the project, of course, you need certain process that need to be followed uh, supaya senang nak manage. Uh, you ingat your scope last time we learned about matrix uh, type of governance. We learned about the, the uh, uh, project or uh, about the functionality. All right. So all this will involve many people and it's difficult to monitor actually. So we need a certain process and certain tools or, or methods okay, in order to define and managing the scope. Make sure that everybody follow, everybody is producing what been expected from each task, for example, from each stage. Right. And OK, for this one, you will learn also what is the difference between project scope, right? The deliverables of the project, what we want to produce at the end of the project, and also the product scope. Product scope is the functionality of the product itself. OK, what you the project scope will be the information system for inventory management. OK. Uh, itu yang project scope, itu yang awak nak, nak produce. Okay, product scope will look into the detail about this inventory management. What are the features, functionality, apa SRR dia, apa uh, 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 SRS, what the SDD, uh, all those kind of things, right? System design, system requirements, okay. Uh, itulah dia punya ni, eh. And then, Based on the, and you know the differences between the project scope and product scope, then you have to really come up with a work breakdown structure. Okay, work breakdown structure which will lim, will 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 uh, decompose, uh, put it in a small small task. Ah, uh, yang akan ada based on hierarchy, ah, uh, dalam bentuk graphic yang senang ditengok. Ah, uh, apa yang kita buat? Uh, stage ni apa yang kena buat from the duration to that duration for example what need to be covered and so on okay and then deliverable what is the difference between deliverable and milestone and also okay and also uh, one of the important part also when you want to develop all this nak identify scope nak identify schedule nak identify budget you need an expert to do that the project estimation okay so in do the project estimation, there will be a several methods to be used. Okay, ini antara soalan-soalan yang, yang, yang popular dalam test dan sebagainya, the method that we use and so on. <clears throat> okay, so for this, the, the, the what is scope actually? <coughs> so scope, uh, scope basically define the work boundaries and deliverables of the project. So what needs to get done will get done and only what needs to get done, get done. Uh, apa ke bondor ni? Okay, maksud dia scope when you want to define, when you want to develop your project plan, your project proposal for example, you already identify, okay, this is, uh, we want to develop the uh, we want to come up with the uh, the design uh, of the uh, the you want to come up with the design of your HR management system, and you want to to develop the HR the, uh, the HR uh, management system and it, and and also to run it to make it live. Okay, untuk diguna pakai terus oleh the user itself. So when you want to do the design and you want to develop, okay, that's what you state in your project plan. So scope is not only when you state that, but when you come to the education, okay, when you come to the education, it's also the responsibility of the manager 
to make sure whatever you you put in your project okay in your proposal will be what will be covered okay kalau kalau ada second uh, for example a request to add another module all right for example not only hr we want to also to trace about the erp resources uh, bukan dia uh, hr saja uh, management system tapi nak buat buat dia punya uh, the 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 the, the uh, human resource about the, uh, the the assessment of the sk uh, of the of the achievement of that uh, staff also which is another module okay kalau another module ni kena for example project manager kena identify this is a second version okay so follow the scope if there is any differences any additional and so on uh, kena buat justification ataupun kena buat elaboration more uh, uh, whether needs to add another uh, time uh, add more time to that ataupun kena add budget right okay so with the scope it will also be determined by the project's mov okay meaning that you already learn project mov in chapter 4 and also chapter 5 yeah, chapter 3 right so whatever measurable organizational value that you target okay it need to be aligned with the scope uh, dalam mov you dah ada dia punya area of impact you know what to be achieved when to achieve how much to achieve what will be involved okay based on this then you do identify the scope uh, boleh tak capai okay kalau yang keluar daripada scope di luar daripada mov keluarkan jangan jangan cover in your uh, 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 scope right so <coughs> So for the work breakdown structure, okay, for the work breakdown structure, it is a project management tool that provide hierarchy structure that acts as a act as a bridge or link. So if you know the scope already, now you want to break down the uh, task to break down the, the 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 work into a different different stages, which we will look into that later. Okay, so. Ini yang selalu dipakai, diguna pakai. Alright, this is is among the popular, a basic, a basic things about project management. It is a triple constraint, which these three components, these three elements are the basic element that support the achievement of the project MOV. Right, which is budget, scope, schedule. Right, so it normally start with the scope first. If the scope is added, more scope is added. For example, during the education, tiba-tiba dia orang kata dia nak tambah. Tak tambah lagi satu functionality. Right, a main functionality. So, of course, the project the budget also okay the schedule also need to be added together with the budget uh, so ini kena tambah uh, so this is important because to make sure that the 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 expectation all right the the team are given a appropriate time and appropriate budget to complete this Hope and to make sure the system function as 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 uh, as required. Okay, uh, maybe okay. Uh, I'm not so sure whether in your tutorial does uh, your uh, your lecturer cover about the about the uh, 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 Hershey's among the popular among the popular uh, Hershey's implementation ERP implementation. Okay, that which was happened in 2000. Yang mana scope dia bertambah and then dia, in fact, bukan scope bertambah, scope dia besar tapi schedule dia kecilkan, dia cepatkan schedule and it happens, the project was a disaster. It was a clash, the database clash, they lost lots of money and so on. 
So make sure it's critical. Okay, make sure whatever needed can be done, can be completed within a given time and given a budget, appropriate budget and so on. Right? So it's important for the triple constraint. These three component called is a triple constraint. <clears throat> So what are the scope management process? So basically in doing the project, in managing the scope, basically it involves these three stages, six, six, these three stages, okay? Memang selalunya kita akan cakap you can plan first, okay? Uh, planning is important. It's not only scope management process, but it is also in others, okay, in communication plan, in the uh, in the project life cycle itself, uh, semua ada scope, uh, plan scope. Normally start dengan uh, planning lah, right? So, uh, for this, okay, first of all, in identifying the scope, okay, scope management is one of the project management body of knowledge. Okay, remember, I already mentioned to you guys, kita ada 11th, Kita ada 11, uh, uh, we have 10 body of knowledge and we have 11 chapters and all this body of knowledge been mentioned in all these chapters actually, right? So, kita, uh, uh, and for the scope management, first it will start with the project and product scope will be defined, verified and changed. Kena, kena, kena discuss, okay, to plan, can you discuss, call all your project team and also your, 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 your project uh, sponsor to sit together and identify what are required for the uh, project. Uh, okay, it's not only the project itself, but of course, the start dengan product, normally product, daripada product yang kita nak buat ni, how long the project will be, how to manage the project and what are the tasks required in order to make sure that the product that we plan to have can be produced uh, uh, successfully, right? <clears throat> so it will be a collect requirements, okay? Collect requirements, uh, we, which after you know what are the scope and so on, kena identify dulu, kena tanya dekat customer, sponsor or stakeholders, okay? Apa sebenarnya yang you all required? Budget kita berapa? Uh, you can start with that. So if uh, the project with this kind of project, how much budget? Okay, how long that you want for each? Uh, and then what are the expected from each stage? Is there any deliverable? How many stages that will involve? And also, you will ask a little bit with the uh, customer also, your or user, the product scope. Apa functionality yang nak buat? Betul ke this is the functionality? Right? So, collect requirement daripada situ dah dapat ni, baru awak define betul-betul. Then only you come out, you sit down quietly and describe in detail what the product, service or information system that you will design, you will build and you will be implemented here. Selalunya scope statements. You akan keluar at this stage, you akan keluarkan scope statements. Meaning that what we expected in a in a paragraph. Supaya bila orang baca, everybody in the team, they can look at it and understand and agree and can see what are the output or what the expectation from them. <clears throat> okay. So, dah tahu dah semua. Detail scope and so on, clear. Now we want to plan to put it in a proper uh, gun chart. Uh, selalunya saya cakap gun chart tu lah at the end. Okay. So it will be a decomposition dividing into a project scope into smaller and more manageable components. Meaning that divide into a certain, certain stage. Uh, stage one, the output will be this. So, how to monitor? Uh, budget dia banyak ni, duration dia banyak ni, uh, the output, what are the be expected? Stage 2, what are the, how long? What are the tasks? What are the output? What are the 
uh, budget, for example. So if you break down, if you do the breakdown, okay, it must be uh, back, uh, it must be a more effective to measure, correct? So validate score, uh, into how to do it, how to do this, uh, kita akan tengok the certain tools and techniques to be used in these chapters, okay? So uh, validate scope, we want to do a, after that, you do the uh, work, uh, uh, work breakdown structure and so on, then you confirm kan, okay, and do a formal acceptance, meaning that confirm, do a certain form, okay, present to the team members, to the user and also the, 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 the sponsors, okay, and then present to them and make sure that, <coughs> Make sure that they will uh, accept that everybody understand to, uh, what to be expected. Okay, dah tahu, semua dah agree, everybody sign and so on. Then you can control the education. The control the scope throughout the education of the project until the project being completed, right? So this is basically the six stages of scope management process, which you will, you can see based on this figure, the output of all those stages that I mentioned. Document can, you need to develop a detailed descriptions of the product and put it in a proper work packages. And then there will be a form for the formal acceptance, which everybody will uh, agree, will look through if there is any changes, okay, any uh, editing, editing need to be done, do the editing first. Uh, then only everybody agree, baru semua sign dan setuju. And throughout the process of the execution of the project, you will involve a few processes in managing, in monitoring and so on. Okay, kita tak mau uh, terlebih scope, kita buat, uh, develop a features yang salah, which not been included, we paham lain, user paham lain, and then at the end of the day, you, uh, you, you didn't solve the problem uh, of the uh, of the process, for example. Uh, the system does not help. Uh, itu yang kita tak mau. The system crash, for example, it didn't work. Okay, so we tend to avoid that kind of problems, actually. Okay, so when we come up with the boundary, <coughs> of course, of course, you have, you need to work with the, this is what being covered, work within the scope boundary, must support the project MOV. But at the same time, of course, you will be a factors, factors outside the project scope, which will tend to influence the development of the project. Uh, bila nak influence tu, tu yang ada lubang-lubang kat sini sikit. Uh, kan? Lubang-lubang ni dia tak ada solid. Sebab bila, bila, there will be a possibility, okay, of the uh, external environment can influence the development. For example, you develop the e-commerce, okay, you develop the e-commerce uh, system which you want to apply, you want to impose the, the, uh, uh, the buying and selling. You put the price there and so on. How much the, 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 how much the, the, the end cost of this, okay, uh, ni lah. Then tiba-tiba government cakap they want to impose the SST back to the product, to the system, uh, kalau product, to the, uh, the, 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 the process of selling, uh, the, the selling price of the product. So kalau perlu, kena tambah lah, of course, okay, the X, uh, there will be a, uh, element outside the project scope that might influence, right? But again, like what I mentioned, it is based on the project. It is uh, critically important for the project manager to know the differences. Which one is critically you can change the project scope? Which one you can, you need to make, to bring it to the second version? Uh, to kena tahu, eh, based on the experience and how much you can cater the scope changes request by your user, for example, request by the customer, okay? So if you already know what, what are the scope and so on, okay? 
you have to come up with the statement of work. Uh, statement of work that that explained what the project is about and also explain the output, the product that you want to produce. Okay, that is very critical, especially when it involves the external project. Uh, statement of work, mana, makna, maknanya, you want to, you want to, uh, you know what are the project scope and so on, and then you want to hire vendor, you want to hire uh, outside programmer, uh, a company, software house, to actually to develop for you. So for that, okay, you need to provide all those detail of the specification, quantities, quality, all right? Perform what you expect, the performance requirements, okay, what are the functionality, what the system can do, what kind of report that you want to produce, and so on, which for the bidders, siapa-siapa yang berminat nak dapatkan kontrak untuk jadi the developer of the system, to really understand and can come up with the appropriate budget to bid the contract, for example, right? So normally it will be used, this scope of statement will be used for when you want to come up with a request for proposal, request for information and request for bid. Okay, these three things we already learned in a previous chapters about the cost procurement, uh, the outs uh, uh, outsource when you want to outsource the project. Okay, these are the comments that, that you need to prepare in order to, uh, to, to, to hire people from outsiders. Okay, so one of the important elements to be included, a clear statement of work. Uh, itu kena ada. At the first, uh, first place, kena make sure statement of work ada, put it in the proposal and later tu baru, daripada statement of work, uh, baru you draft more information related to the project for the bidders to uh, to prepare the document later. Eh? Alright, okay, so the scope statement, for example, <clears throat> okay, the scope statement, for example, uh, there are three, uh, this is uh, about the e-commerce project. So there are three things that need to be included, need to be done, for example. Okay, can I call Saya tak larang nak baca dah. Okay, Shariful Zikri. Shariful, are you there? <coughs> Shariful ada tak? Ya, yeah, ada doktor. Yeah, okay, Shariful bacakan sekejap-sekejap. Saya nak off ni, saya nak, saya nak terbatuk. Okay, Shariful, bacakan eh. Uh, uh, boleh, Dr. The scope the statement scope is statement another way is to another define, way define the scope define boundary. It is a detailed documentation of the sponsor's needs and expectation. So here, uh, here are the example of scope statement, which consists of three parts. The first one is uh, develop a proactive electronic commerce strategy that identifies the process, products, and service to be delivered through the World Wide Web. The second part is, is develop an application system that supports all of the process, product and service identified in the electronic commerce strategy. And for the last one is the application must be integrated with the bank, bank's existing enterprise resource planning system. Okay, so basically for this scope statement, there will be a three uh, uh, objective of the project. Uh, dia ob objektif, daripada objektif tu you come up with the scope lah. Uh, lebih kurang macam ni lah, right? The objective will be to develop a proactive electronic commerce strategy. Uh, selalunya satu. Based on that objective, you, sorry, you come up with the scope statements. Uh, elaborate a little bit on that. Identify the process, product and services. Okay, and then second objective will be to develop an application system. In what way? Uh, itulah scope statement will provide another detail of it, right? And <coughs> the third objective, the, they will be about the integration. 
The application system must integrate with the bank existing enterprise systems planning. Okay, so based on these scope statements, okay, you already have an idea what need to be done, what to be expected, and how how to do it. Ah, uh, daripada situ, biasanya vendor vendor ni dia akan tahu lah, dia pandai lah how to come up with the budget and duration. Five minute break, jai. Two minute, two minute. Oh, okay, mencabar betul lah. Alright. Beberapa hari sebelum raya ni uh, dengan uh, dengan keti, keti, apa ketidaksihatan sekarang. Alright, okay. Uh, so basically, uh, we'll briefly just explain. If you need further later, okay, further information later, you can read from my. Uh, you can look into the uh, video of my previous. Uh, class yesterday's class okay ataupun boleh tanya je saya okay kalau ada there are things that I didn't elaborate uh, I didn't elaborate in detail lah if ni eh tapi I will try my best uh, to finish the class right in half an hour at least right okay so like what be mentioned okay like what be mentioned we have a project oriented scope Meaning that the project itself, the project management itself, okay, from what date to what date, how much budget, who will be involved, uh, all right, and then uh, what are the tasks, what are the stages, uh, all those are Hi. called project oriented scope. Normally, will be guided by deliverable structure chart. Based, based on this DSC, okay, you will come up with the, normally they will come up with the uh, 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 gun chart, uh, which I want you guys to use the, the, the project management uh, software, all right, for example, the project management apps, for example, the ClickUp, the, the uh, project management office, project management professional, Itu kena license lah, project, open open office project management and also use, you can use for example, ada banyak Trello dan sebagainya eh, to, to, to come up with your uh, DSC and also the gun chart, right? And another product oriented scope, uh, this one is specifically about the application system itself that you want to develop, okay? What are the features? What are the functionality? What are the uh, uh, the description of the functionality is all need to be to be included in the product oriented scope. Uh, ini kena explain betul-betul. Selalunya when you come up with the prototype one, you show to your client, sometimes they keep adding new things. Uh, itu yang kita tak mahu. Kalau that is within your range, things that you can update, of course you can add because it's just a smaller enhancement you can proceed but if you did uh, another module that will be dangerous okay uh, selalunya kena kena tahu how to uh, uh, say no actually right so out of scope uh, this is some example of the out of scope <clears throat> and okay in order to really make sure that everybody understand what are the what are the scope boundary Okay, what are the scope boundary and so on, right? It will, you need to include, okay, to make sure that everybody can see in a graphic way kind of things, you normally need to include the deliverable definition table, deliverable structure, context level data flow diagram, use case diagrams. Okay, all this, normally the two, uh, two at the, the two at top there, Okay, you involve the project. Tapi dekat bawah dua ni selalunya di dalam when you are at the execution stage. Alright, all this <coughs> will be useful 
when you want to come up with the project uh, works breakdown structure later. Okay. Now, how to come up with the project breakdown structure? Inilah tools-tools yang you will use, right? Okay. For example, for example, the 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 previous scope statement that uh, uh, siapa baca tadi tu? Uh, Syariful ya, eh, yang baca tadi saya lupa lah dah. Saya sebut-sebut nama dan lupa. Alright, uh, yang yang read that, alright. So the uh, this when we want to come up with the e-commerce, alright. Normally it will start with the project life cycle as a basis. Project life cycle, you want to come up with the initial and conceptual. You need to come up with the project charter and plan. You need the whole, okay, the whole things there. You need to come up with the execute and control. You want to close <laughs> the project. <coughs> and of course, last but not least, you want to evaluate. Uh, this is normally where where you calculate your MOV. Okay, uh, ni masa kat sini lah yang MOV come in actually. Alright, uh, baca uh, dan whether uh, it is within six months, for example, you said about uh, you want to uh, you want to evaluate your MOV within one year. Uh, so this is how. To ensure whether the project is success or not. Okay, so basically all these things, the 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 details of this initial and conceptual already been uh, covered in a previous chapters. Uh, cuma bila kita cakap pasal scope ni, it's a very critical during the during the education stage. Uh, whatever, especially when we talk about the product scope. So, for this, execute and control, you elaborate a little bit, okay, uh, decompose, uh, do the compositions, decomposition of all these tasks, all right, and identify the each stages, okay, these stages, we already learned, this is part of the SDLC stages, all right, and for each stages, what you plan to do, okay, uh, first come up with a strategy is e-commerce plan logical design, e-commerce implementation, test, documentation, training, conversion, and so on. So this is among the first, first uh, to put the scope into an uh, graphical uh, tools. Supaya orang baca, dia faham. Okay. Actually, yang ni pun boleh elaborate lagi lah. Uh, mungkin awak punya besar sikit, your, 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 your file and so on. Right. So, <coughs> based on that, of course, <coughs> to elaborate more, okay, this one is more on the project, project scope itself. Now, we look into the product scope. Uh, for the product scope, we want to make sure that what are the main functionality of the system. Uh, so, this is an example of the use case diagram. <coughs> We'll be able to order check, be able to pay bills, can transfer fund, can change address, and they will identify also who will be involved. The ERP system, the system itself, and will connect with the, tadi tu dalam, kalau awak ingat kan, the punya strategy is to integrate with the ERP system, right? And the manager should be able to do the, to print the report. Actually, to to prepare the report will be here lah. Ada kat sini satu. Okay, nanti manager boleh print kat sini. Right? So, anyway. Okay, this is some of the example of the use case diagram to further explain, justify the functionality of the project scope. Uh, the, the product scope. But for your system, uh, for your project plan, tak perlulah letak ni. Ini sebab dekat education stage actually eh. Okay, uh, awak just buat dia punya gancat. Nanti saya tunjuk lah ni ni eh. What other thing needs to be included. Okay. <coughs> the stage, uh, uh, elaboration on the other stage, you want to develop the scope, validate. <coughs> develop lah. So when you want to validate the scope, which you want to get people from others, okay, from your team members, from your user, from your sponsor, 
to validate whether the scope is what we expected from them. Okay, you have to do these processes. Okay, first of all, tengok dulu, betul tak? What is the MOV? Tunjuk kat depa. Okay, this is the MOV that you need to do. Alright, and based on the MOV, whether it's aligned with the scope or not. So, you verify the MOV and how it aligns with the scope that you already identified. Okay, if it is okay, then you do the documentations of all deliverables. Okay, for deliverables for each stage just now. Uh, yang what the identify for each stage. Okay, na na education, na initiation plan and so on. Whether it's tangible and verifiable. Project plan. Tadi tu ada satu kan, you want to develop project plan, then you want to, the, the, the output will be the project plan itself. It got to be tangible that you can see and you can verify. You can check and double check and sign lagi sekali, for example. Right? For example, the product scope, the user requirements, all those uh, can sign whether they agree or not. Okay? And to double check if that proposed the, is support the project's MOV. Okay? <clears throat> so, specification of quality standard. Okay, make sure that it fulfill whatever standard that been needed. Right, if you are talking about you want to develop the system on the HR, must the other standard about the uh, labor labor regulation, for example. Right, you need to do, do for the human resource management. So regulation, whatever related to the labor and uh, uh, workforce and so on, need to be included. Right. So it's not only on that standard, but also the quality standard of the project itself. Okay, how you want to make sure that it fulfill? How often that you want that to be presented? How often you want to monitor? Uh, so make sure that they are in control. Okay, our selalu update, people update to you and there will be a proper communication plan that being imposed. Okay, and also you want to identify the milestones. Okay, for each deliverable, for each stage, what are the deliverable and what are the milestones. Milestone is a significant event. And last, and you review and maintain and accept. Okay, are both sides clear or not? Uh, done based on this validate scope process. Scroll uh, they pass sign lagi sekali, for example. <clears throat> okay. So the last stage, control, scope and change control. Okay, just want to emphasize on the, there will be an issue. Uh, issue dia uh, 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 always happen to uh, to us actually. Correct? When you want to come up with the, uh, the, the failures of the project, normally these are among the factors that we mentioned related to the failure of the project. Scope, group, scope, script, scope. Scope leap. Okay, these are the problem issue related to the scope. For example, project team's inability to define the project scope. Diorang sendiri pun tak faham. Okay, nak buat apa? Bukanlah, diorang tak faham, diorang tak clear. Uh, what are the functionality of the ERP system? Uh, dia boleh, uh, okay, dia boleh, dia produce report. Tapi report tu untuk siapa diorang tak tahu. Uh, so because the, the the type of report will be different based on the user. Okay, if top management report will be different. For the uh, middle management will be different. For the operational uh, operational uh, uh, people, they will be different. Right, for example, but they are not clear. Scope creep, the project requirement tend to increase over a project life cycle. Masa project plan, okay. During the execution project, uh, uh, during your prototype, okay, it keep increasing. Prototype one increase satu lagi uh, features. Prototype two increase lagi sampai ke sudah tak habis. Right, so it's very dangerous scope creep. So this this is where the project the the project manager will play a role on how to control about this the request from the user and so on. Okay, scope lead normally. The dramatic shift in the strategic focus or tactical, meaning that the organization is 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 moving 
uh, maybe whether they want they, they uh, there is something uh, happened to the organization they they want to make sure uh, they want to simplify the project for example they want to cut certain budget right uh, because itulah ada apa apa berlaku ke dekat sistem and uh, dekat dekat the, the the organization itself okay so every budget need to be cut okay uh, cut off the budget and also it impact your project okay that also might happen some of the issues that might happen okay so basically but still the the change request can happen of course the change request can happen and you have to use your project plan to actually uh, to to actually as a baseline if there is any changes based on the project plan and then there will be an added for example added features and so on you can uh, buat satu form yang mana they will be for example who are the requester when what are the requests what are the changes justify what it need to be done and what are the alternative that been uh, that been 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 proposed kalau nak tambah lagi features uh, so alternative dia for example uh, ada ada tak scope dia mungkin tambah satu scope lagi schedule dia bila uh, resources required when so alternative two maybe you want to develop in house resources required in house so the the schedule will be shorter uh, that kind of things so you need to come up with the scope change request form. Okay, for your project later, I I I been emphasize this with your with the previous uh uh with the previous uh team, the previous team, previous class. Okay, this job scope re change request form need to be included in your project project group. Okay, and you need to fill out if you want to use this fine. Buat je lagi sekali atau nak pakai nak pakai uh, 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 format lain also can, right? So you need to come up with a example, one example. Fill out this for any form that you use. You need to fill out as a to show that how the scope, how the uh, how the request form will be used for your related to the project, <coughs> right? Jangan simply tiru je. Nak tulis pun tak tahu. Ah, itu tak mahu. That's why I want you guys to put it. Okay, example of the scope change. And for ever scope change, you can request. You can uh, do the lock. Uh, you can lock, lock, what lock, lock lah. Report lock, uh, uh, lock. Report lock. Okay, yang mana boleh trace. Siapa, bila, okay, if there is any three, for example, three scope change request that you've been accept, uh, you've been received, okay, tuliskan dekat sini, uh, all those request number, priority, uh, uh, priority ni LMH tu kena tengok apa uh, the definition is, okay, you can refer to the textbooks, okay, authority to approve and so on. Okay. Any questions so far? No question. As usual, ada lagi ke bersama saya ke saya bebas seseorang ni? Farahani, how are you doing Farahani? Uh, I'm good, that's it. Okay, where are you now Farah? Uh, at the college. Okay, Farah, what uh, what you plan to do for your project? Dah, dah, dah discuss ke? Uh, dah. Okay, what is the title? The... Uh, of the project, the, not, the, not, what kind of system that you want to develop? That you propose to develop? Uh, um, our group mm, to propose. propose the project name U class project that will combine uh -huh. uh, and this one project. is group project, can it be? Uh -huh, betul, group project. Nak buat pasal apa Farah? Um, pasal educational punya platform. Edi? Combine Edi? all the lecturers and students in one platform. Oh apa tu? Edi apa? Uh, 
What's that again? Uh, we name it as U class. U class. Okay, U class uh -huh. tu apa sebenarnya? Dia boleh buat apa? Dia boleh combinekan lecturer dengan student dalam satu platform tu and boleh interact each other uh -huh. dalam satu platform tu. So, kalau ada task uh, uh -huh. or kerja yang assign daripada lecturer, um, uh -huh. there will be uh, student yang boleh uh, guide ada student. Uh -huh. Um, and lecturer can um, pantau the students yeah, in the platform too. Oh, okay. Uh, For uh, this, uh. this one is more like a, a class punya class ni ke? Class eh? Ha-ha. Uh, uh. uh, macam dia yeah, macam in future tapi in future uh, kita gabungkan dengan student yang lecturer sekarang ni. Oh, okay. Alright, okay, interesting. Alright, thank you Farah. Yang lain-lain pun hopefully you all boleh come yeah. ada, ada ada idea eh, what to do and so on. Yes, Farah. Nak tambah ke? Tak ada. Alright, okay. Okay, later Farah for that one. Okay, you can come up with the scope, what are the functionality, non-functionality and so on. Okay, this one fall for the others as well lah. Of course, eh. So for that one, Okay, for Farah's works uh, just now, uh, for the platform for the for the uh, uh, lecturer and also for the students. Okay, this when you want to come up what is what you want to cover. Okay, kena pakai contoh template. Uh, this is one of the two to be used. Which first of all they will elaborate about the project itself. And there will be a different, different pace. So this one, pace one, and and duplicate for pace two. The whole things here, okay. The whole things here duplicate untuk pace two. Ah, ini baru pace one. Pace one is deliverables, activity, milestone for that pace, milestone pace completion, and pace two there will be some more. Ah, repeat those things. But every pace you need identify what are the deliverable. What are the activity that will be included? The milestone and also the milestone. Uh, the milestone is a significant event that might happen. So for that, okay, uh, this is the work package. Later, this work package will be used to come up with the work breakdown structure. Uh, tengok nanti later. Eh? Okay, so before that, since it be mentioned in the uh, 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 in the work package just now. So basically, there will be a deliverables. Okay, what are the tangible uh, ta uh, deliverables for every stage? There should be a deliverables. Kena ada deliverables. Deliverables can be in terms of report, can be in terms of presentation, can be in terms of prototypes, right? And anything that related to the project that show that whatever task that you already identified, what are the output? Uh, kena ada, kalau tidak awak akan terawang-awang dalam 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 in, in a group. Apa nak buat ni? Apa? What you want? What why, what you want to show? Make sure every <coughs> task, every pace have the deliverable. <coughs> and but not every pace will have milestone. Milestone is a significant event or achievement. Alright, it can, for example, yeah, eh, yeah. Tika dalam kelas. Dalam kelas, dalam kelas. I will call you later. Okay, okay, bye. Okay, sorry. Timbalan dia kan lain call. Okay, milestone, significant events or achievement. Alright. So, in a one project, they might have maybe two milestone. But in a one project, every piece ada deliverables. Okay, make sure you all uh, 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 clear about that. Alright. Okay, so significant event, for example, bila you hand over ataupun bila accomplishment of the prototype uh, 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 the, the, uh, atau you when, when you want, you finish doing the testing, right? Uh, okay, so that will be a significant event. To the, up, to the, uh, up to the team members, which one is which, okay? 
So in developing the in developing the WBS, uh, this is what uh, do we already see this DSC and so on. All right, for all this DSC, for example, example of the test plan testing stage. Okay, for example here, based on that stage, okay, the deliverable will be test results report. So basically, the task for that one, the activities. Okay, small, small activity for this stage, all right, will be the only elaboration will be this. Review the test plan with the client so that the stakeholders are clear as to what it will be tested. Okay, review the test plan. Carry out the test and outline in the plan. Okay, this is the second once the results are collected, we need to analyze them. But you need logical activities bila you explain. Tapi nanti dalam gancat tak nak macam ni eh, perkataan dia lain sikit. Alright? It's just like carry out test. Review test plan. Ah, uh, It will be a, a simplified version. But if you are required to do logical activities, of course, you need to do stage by stage with the further explanation. Okay, once the test results are collected, we need to analyze them. The result should be summarized in the form of report and present to the client. If goes well, the client will sign off or uh, approve the test. Okay, for this one, what are the deliverables? Okay, the deliverables, for example, will be here. Pakai color, sekejap eh. Malah nak cari color dia. Yalah. Alright, okay. So, it will be in the form of report. This is deliverable. And this stage also, they have the milestone. Milestone will be here. Uh, we'll sign off, uh, approve the test. Uh, this is milestone because it is a one big event. Deliverable output, okay. It will be a report. And it will be the presentation. Uh, this is another one deliverables presentation report uh, and the sign off will be the milestone okay. all right any questions so far <coughs> all right okay uh uh fatin anis and natasha Where are Fatin Anis and Natasha? Are you there, Fatin? Yes, Doctor. Okay. Fatin kat mana, Fatin? Bukan kat pasar Ramadan, eh? <laughs> kat Kolej Melati. Okay. Ada, uh, nak pergi gerai kat bawah tu ke nanti? Uh, tak, tak pergi. Okay, habis? Order food panda je. Ha? Huh? Order oh. food panda. Order food panda. Ah, okay, mesti ada orang-orang orang-orang lain nanti dia cakap. Uh, untunglah, untunglah Fuk Panda. <laughs> Ada Fuk Panda dengan Farhani, Doktor. Oh, ya ke? Share dengan Farhani. Hmm. Ah, okey, okey, okey. Dia share eh, korang. Ah, jangan cakap ni eh. <laughs> Biarkan dia kata kayangan, kayangan. Alright, sebab saya selalu lalu petang-petang tu dekat Melati tu kan. Banyak juga budak-budak beratur and so on, right? Uh, the, the, ada kiosk, ada sikit-sikit tu kan. Eh, kat situ diorang jual. Alright, anyway, uh, okey tak ada soalan eh. Hati nak ada tak ada tak ada. Alright. Okay, thank you. Saja je sebut nama. Okay, so example of work breakdown schedule. Alright, this is ah uh, this is you need to have this in your project project plan. Alright. What are the ah uh, work breakdown schedule? Which this is a sign plus a uh, plus sign sign plus plus sign which for this concept conceptual and initialized project. Kena, kena buat the detail of the task under conceptual and initialize. Ha, tu yang ada plus sign tu maknanya tambah-tambah. If you are using project, uh, project open office project like what I mentioned, uh, the, 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 uh, the, the software for the project management uh, uh, system, alright, uh, you can do this uh, automatically dalam dalam system tu. Uh, boleh buat drop add, campur, tolak, tambah, nak delete balik. Uh, it's very neat. Okay, easy to use and so on. And also with that, you can identify terus in that system. 
Alright, you need to identify terus where is the schedule, how long and so on. Alright, so use that. And uh, normally, normally the lecturer uh, during the presentation, we want you can open the your click up to show. Alright, do print screen in the in the in the uh, uh, project project report, and also during the presentation, uh, kena masuk dalam click up lah tunjuk dan sebagainya. Alright, so this is how it been done. For example, they make some elaboration at this stage, testing stage, where we will do the test plan, where we will do the, for example, uh, uh, there will be a test result report. Uh, macam tadi tu lah banyak. Tadi tu dia punya description, logical activities. But for the work breakdown schedule, for the gun, which will later will be used for your gun chart, you just use the simple statement. A very direct, very, uh, 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 what we call that, uh, uh, direct statements and precise words to be used and so on. Okay. And the whole for the whole project. So basically they involve a nine, nine stages and under each nine stages there will be a detail of the activities for each one all right okay so this is how it link with the work package and the work breakdown structure that we have seen before all right so macam tadi saya cakap tadi for each page ni uh, dia akan ulang lah uh, uh, page one 1.0, dia akan pakai piece uh, deliverable activities, milestone completion. Okay, the whole thing will be uh, uh, duplicate and tapi ubah based on the specific task under each stage. Alright. Just a little bit more. Okay. So, things to keep when in mind when developing the work breakdown structure. Okay, again, this is a sum to just to refresh. Uh, it be mentioned early yeah, at the beginning of the uh, of the uh, uh, lecture just now. Should support the project's MOV. Okay, again, I've been uh, mentioned, and also it got to be deliverable oriented. Okay, maknanya memang setiap satu stage kena ada deliverable. And of course, the whole thing here that you already uh, explained ni. Banyak-banyak ni, panjang-panjang ni, semua all these nine uh, stages. This, the detail is used for control, for planning and control to monitor. Uh, that's why we want to know uh, for each stage 1.0, when you do the conceptual and initial, in, initialize the project from what duration, from what date to what date. Uh, kena specify kan. And then from that duration, maknanya, Uh, project manager kena tengok lah. Uh, dekat stage ni, stage ni betul tak dia rupa dah ada capai ke tak. And please remember, some stages can be run concurrently. Kalau boleh run dalam masa yang sama. So, that is the responsibility for project manager and team to monitor. And also, development WBS should involve also those who will be doing the work. Okay. So you will have the task, you will have the, uh, the the date durations and also who will be involved. Okay, which uh, can be used, can be developed easily with the uh, uh, project management software that I mentioned just now. Okay, so when to do all those, to do all those things, okay, of course to do the estimation of the schedule, the budget, the timing, it's not easy. So there are tools that needed to do the estimation okay what are the scope that we want to do what are the tasks for each stage where do you start dekat mana yang akan start all right for stage two area mana stage three area mana and remember some of the stage you can start that stage three even though stage two is not finished yet for example So here you will identify where to start and how to do the estimation, right? Uh, so how to do the estimation? There will be a there will be a six method that can be used: guess, estimating, Delphi, time boxing, top down, bottom up, and also last but not least, 
will be poker planning. So I will briefly explain to you each one of those. And please read the textbook as well. Okay. Uh, how this one and so on. Normally we will give you a sometimes. Okay. We will give you a situation. All right. You will match which one is a uh, which one is a, what method to be used with, within that operation within that uh, 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 situation. For example. Okay. Guesstimating will be used when when they are you are inexperienced project manager uh, like what you guys are now okay you guys are now you, uh, you guys are never done a project tak pernah lah nak budgetkan doing tasks and for example project kecilan for example project assignments all those things only but does not include any scale budget and so on so <coughs> for this inexperience normally you do the guesstimating Okay, for your project plan is an example of the guesstimating type of method where you guess. Okay, you do the guesstimate. Okay, one thing because it's easy and quick and because you are also not familiar. Right, but when do the guess estimating, it's just not you out of the blue, you just pick the, some magic numbers. Uh, tak boleh lah buat macam tu. Okay, kenapa nak? Tiba-tiba nak budget RM499,487,000 uh, 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 for example. Ada pula ringgit-ringgit tu. Why? It need to be justified by certain numbers. Okay, for example, when you want to buy, a, you said that you want to buy a server, kena estimate, kena Google how much when you want to hire it uh, when you want to pay to get the allocation for the project manager. All right. So go the Google uh, look for us around. What are the estimate uh, a salary for the guest uh, for the project uh, fresh project manager? OK, all those not only guesstimating just out of the blue, but you need to do some research, All right? some research, ask around, try to read through other project, read through the case study and so on. Okay. Another thing, all right, another thing or you can do based on the expert. Uh, you hired, you had a certain, you identify three experts, for example, all right, who are very good in e-commerce, who are very good in ERP, who are very good in the integration. All right, for this expert, you hired, you pay them accordingly. And you see, you come to see them individually. Meaning that tak adalah letak dia orang satu tempat, you make an appointment. Okay, Monday, see expert one. Uh, fr uh, 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 Wednesday, see expert two. Friday, see expert three. And get, tell them the situation and get their opinion how much budget okay you based on the you, you list down the schedule uh, the 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 task just now ask them to do some estimation of the budget and estimation of the duration normally expert will be the one that are well experienced right okay so expert will make an and 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 uh, expert will make uh, 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 do the estimation based on the experience if if close, meaning that as all these three experts give uh, uh, about similar numbers, right? You can do the average, average kan je. Tapi kalau beza, seorang bagi 500,000, seorang bagi 700,000 estimation of the, the whole budget. So you need to do the iteration, do the uh, judgment, do the, uh, for example, get some get some uh, uh, meet them again uh, explain what what some justification until consensus is reached uh, what average balik ke ataupun satu satu lah that lah all right so repeat the uh, timing okay a few more okay you can do a time boxing for example all right normally used by the agile project uh, okay uh, to do all this estimation and so on 
Normally, a box of time is allocated for specific activity, task of deliverable. Selalunya, tulis je lah, uh, pakai time boxing, meaning that everybody for this one, buat dua minggu. Untuk everybody to be included there. Uh, stage one, dua minggu. Stage two, dua minggu. Stage three, dua minggu. So, meaning that everybody will focus on that stage. Every, uh, semua team members will be put in one space. Uh, put in a one office and focus on that project. All right. Uh, and then this one is very, uh, can be used because it's very rapid. Okay. And it's spontaneous. Normally, some of the system, some of the document, uh, some of the decision can be made spontaneously. Right. Uh, since that everybody in a one place. But there are pro and cons also for this one, especially when it involves a uh, type of matrix project, meaning that matrix young, uh, 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 we have people from uh, different departments and so on. Right. So it can be also from top to down, top down approach where top and middle managers determine the overall project schedule of course. Okay, for example, top and middle give about uh, the, the terus dia bagi satu juta. Kena siap dalam enam, uh, the, uh, you have to complete that in six months, for example. Okay, you specify that. So the lower level manager will break down the schedule and break down the budget based on the instruction by the top and middle manager. So they give the, and they give also the output, what uh, output that need to be achieved and so on. Daripada situ, uh, kena break down and so on. Selalunya, lower manager ni a bit uh, experienced. They are well experienced. They can uh, uh, propose accordingly, actually. And, and second last, all right. So bottom up, this is a bit different. The, the idea the work breakdown structure, the proposal, the idea and so on will come out with the people from the bottom to the top. Okay, diorang yang buat, they want to develop, they want to propose a system. So they come with the deliberations, with the schedule, with a specific budget and so on, with a activity and cost. And normally this is based on the well experience Ex, uh, well experienced manager okay which they develop based on the one's opinion and based on uh, they were experienced they, they they have been developed this kind of project previously all right and they know what to be estimated and so on right and last but not least right this is a some kind of focal planning i can say that this is one method under delphi technique uh, which they use instead of just interview, they can use a deck of cards. Deck of cards which do the matching. For example, if a uh, task is like this, uh, description of task is one card and also there will be a elaboration of the budget in a different, different card. So a different activity, different cards. Okay, and different uh, budget will be in a different, different uh, uh, ada uh, budget, ada banyak card, activities will be banyak card, uh, 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 duration also in different card. So they do the matching. Okay, they just use the uh, tools of cards in order to do, to come up with the uh, uh, budget, estimation budget. Tapi still pakai Delphi. Maknanya expert yang akan buat uh, the, the estimation and so on. All right, okay, so that's about the estimation of the schedule, budget, and scope. Any questions? Any question? As usual, no question? No. Mm, okay. All Lemah je masing-masing eh. Saya rasa hopefully again kalau tak ada question tu maknanya faham lah ya. Eh. Pahal semua eh. Tu semua nak balik kampung dah. Syafirul, uh, Syariful balik kampung bila Syariful? Uh, saya insyaAllah mah. 
Oh, alah salah tanya orang lah pula. Tak payah, tak, tak payah balik eh. Saya ni tak payah meredah jam tak, eh. Saya memang, saya, saya memang baru sini pun. Ha, tu pula. Mak ayah sini, semua sini eh. Nenek pun kat sini ha. ya. Ha, nenek ha. kat rumah lain. Ha, saya Ni yang rumah pen kat sini. Ha, okay. Tak. So, awak tak balik kampung? Masuk saya? Tak. Eh, tak, tak perlu. Nenek pun kat sini ya. Ha. Ha. Ha, okay, selamatlah. Bahagialah ya. Tanpa meredah jam eh. Okay. Ha. 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 Memang lah. Okay. Nanti cari orang jauh sikit eh Sharifah. Ada ada chance nak balik kampung. Uh, saya, saya, saya cari saya cari luar negara terus. Lain macam <laughs> dia eh, jawab eh. Okay okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, niat tu bagus tu. Okay Iqbal how you doing Iqbal? Is there any question Iqbal? Iqbal Arif? Iqbal? Iqbal. Eh, saya. Ah okey. Iqbal ada question apa-apa? Clear? Ya, yeah, alhamdulillah tak ada. Okey. Iqbal ni balik kampung mana Iqbal? Balik kampung Kelantan. Ah. Saya balik malam esok. Malam esok dah balik. Kelantan kat mana ah. tu Iqbal? Kelantan kat Bacok bersama sahabat saya nama Haikal Fitri. <laughs> ada kat sebelah tu kan? Ah, uh, dia ada kat dalam ni tak sebab saya. Ah, itulah ada kat sebelah. Kat ah. sebelah awak lah juga tu eh. Oh, tak ah. dia dekat tempat lain eh. Okey. Ah. Cuma kat college lah ni eh. Yeah, Alright. Alhamdulillah college. Ah uh, okey. So bila Iqbal dah balik, Haikal pun dah balik, kurang sikit jam nak balik ke Kelantan ni. Saya balik hari sini ni insya-Allah. Right. Okay. Alright. Okay, anyway, uh, uh, take a good care of yourself everybody. Thank you for joining this session. Thank you for your attention and commitment. Hopefully your at full attention given. Uh, selamat hari raya. Maaf zahir batin. Uh, jaga diri datang balik dengan selamat eh minggu de- uh, minggu ke-6 kita jumpa di sana. Alright, di sana tu maknanya dalam minggu ke-6 dalam platform ni eh. Alright, okay, thank you very much. Uh, Assalamualaikum. Anything you can just WhatsApp me eh kalau ada apa-apa masalah any question that okay. you want. Alright. Okay, bye. Okay, bye bye Mida. Thank you doktor. Okay. Thank you doktor. Thank you doktor. Bye ya doktor. Bye ya. Thank you doktor. Bye ya. Bye doktor. Ya, bye. Assalamualaikum. Thank you doktor. Bye ya. Salam. Bye. Oh, dah 6 dah. Alright. Nak nak dekat pukul 6 belum lagi.